What's good, you guys? Today I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT to 10x your work. I'm going to show you guys how I use it as an undergrad student and how you guys can apply it to your learning. I've actually found myself with a lot more time on my hands and getting in better study sessions. So a little bit about me, I'm an undergrad student in CS. I'm taking my last three CS courses this semester and then I'm starting my master's in fall. ChatGPT has helped me with my studying so much this semester and especially preparing for tests and understanding new concepts. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so here I'm gonna tell it, I have an upcoming exam on JavaScript functions coming up. Can you give me a set of example questions? And then it'll generate the questions and then we can respond and it'll grade it for us. Sometimes the responses don't come out like you wanted them to, and what you can do is respond and then refine the result. So you could say something like, hey, tailor your response more to this subject or uh, give it in this context. You can also feed it a bunch of data, like a bunch of bullet points or information from slides, and then say, build me a quiz off of this data. So you can also tell it to generate flashcard type questions, and that's super helpful too. I'm taking this causal inference class, and it's really textbook heavy and theoretical. So what I've been doing is grabbing the paragraphs and putting them in chat GBD and saying, summarize these paragraphs or give it to me in one sentence. So here's some notes from that textbook. And what I can say is summarize and then I'll paste it all there. And then what's super cool about this is you can even tell it to give you examples of it. So then what you can do with this is say, explain this in one sentence. Obviously you're gonna lose a lot of information when it does this, but you're just trying to get the bulk of what it's talking about, you can do it. Or you can tell it, simplify your answer. So you can also say, give me an example. All right, so the personal tutor. This one's super helpful if you need to learn something from zero or you're trying to understand a new concept and you want it explained in detail. So I haven't used this one personally, but I can see how it's totally useful. So if we write something like, act as a professional tutor, teach me what JavaScript queried functions are. The way it spits out the answer is way more friendly. So let's say you're studying for a chemistry exam, you could write something like this. Or if you're studying for your physics exam. Or if you need help understanding rotational kinematics and physics. Or if you need a tutor for Spanish. So here it gives us an introductory lesson on Spanish. So my wife is learning Spanish right now and we've been trying to have conversations so that she can practice. So that's something else you can do with ChatGPT. You can ask it to have a conversation with you in Spanish. She's also used it for example sentences. So like, uh, give me an imperfect sentence in Spanish with this context. So remember when writing these prompts out, you need to be very specific. So for this one, I said, help me practice my French by having a basic conversation with me, wait for me to respond, and then you respond. Correct me if I get something wrong. Remember, it's still a computer and you need to tell it what to do very specifically. Here I respond with je veux bien. Altering messages. This one's been super helpful for me too. When I want something to sound more professional, like an email, or I want it to be more tailored to a specific audience. I've used it a lot emailing professors. So I recently needed some recommendation letters for my master's degree and I had to reach out to two professors. So you could say something like this. And then ChatGPT will make your message sound more professional. So you could also say, tailor this message more for kids or make this sound more slogan-y or whatever you want. Those are just some examples of how I've used ChatGPT in my studies. It's increased my learnings by so much because I can study a lot more efficiently and understand concepts with examples. It really is an amazing tool for studying. Something you need to be really careful with is you need to fact check it. It's not always 100% right. I've actually seen it output incorrect responses several times. Use this as a tool and don't take it for 100% Truth. They already have plagiarizing software for ChatGPT so they can differentiate between AI and human written responses. So I hope you guys found this video useful. I'll see you guys next time.